Throughout most of recent history, when a woman stopped her menses, it was believed that she was to be feared because she could now hold the blood and keep all its power. Most women around the age of 40 and some women in their 30s began to decree their death by energizing the aging process. Women are steered away from their own natural cycles and through their thoughts, hates, and cursings of their own bodies, they throw their bodies off balance. There is a complete misunderstanding of menopause that is similar to the misunderstanding that bleeding is a curse. Everyone tends to adopt these misunderstandings. There is a great gift in menopause, and there is nothing that is lost at this time of life. It is a time of tremendous gain and flowering, the very opposite of what you have been told. Often, men who have vasectomies fear their own sexual power and believe they have no control over their bodies. The symbolic representation of vasectomies states their sense of powerlessness, that their sperm and penises do not do what they want. The fear of sperm creates a fear of the body. Those who have vasectomies also speed up difficulties with their prostates, for shutting off the flow of sperm creates difficulties in the body. We do not recommend vasectomy. We recommend that you learn how to use your bodies rather than condemning your body's functions and creating detours. Be open to a sense of wonder as you reconsider your sexual beliefs. To be alive is to know the goddess. Look for this force in yourself and in everything around you. Say, show me, goddess, who you are. I want to meet you. When most of you thought of Prime Creator as a male personification, you had no problem. Now, to switch to female, some of you can't conceive of it. Life comes from the female vibration. Eve did not come out of the rib of Adam. That tale served to empower the male vibration, which desperately needed to have some kind of identity during the fighting of the goddess culture. We are seeking a balance. If you look around, you are male and female, and all stories of your identity and creation thread the truth of both forces together for you. When you seek balance inside yourself with male and female, in the ideal, you will draw to yourself a partner who is balanced in the same way. Inner balance means that you are your own source and that your next step is to pull your source with another in order to feel and become a bigger source. Not that you necessarily need a mate. However, your natural process is to build something together, to put your keys together as male and female aspects. These aspects correspond to physiological aspects that convey you into the spiritual and emotional realms. The goddess and her compassion allows. Embracing the goddess energy within yourselves will bring all of you to a new understanding and valuing of life and a new and deeper love for all of creation. Embracing the goddess will open the living library to you and teach you the secrets held deep within the bosom of Mother Earth. For who is the Earth Mother if not the goddess herself? The evolution that you are now going through involves the process of building and integrating a light body. Your light body must be tempered, exercised, and stretched gently, bringing it into its own awareness. Clarity concerning who you intend to be in your reality is one of the prime keys in building your light body. Your light body knows that it creates through thought and links you to the fabric of creation. Through your light body, timelines open, accessing multi-layered dramas, and your challenges gather force as you face a seemingly uncharted and yet familiar territory. You are connected to all of existence, and your evolutionary leap is to make sense of this new awareness and to put it to use in your now. Matter is simply light that is trapped. As you build your light body, a reorganization of your molecular structure occurs, loosening your grip upon materialism in order that a spiritual understanding may guide your day-to-day -day life. It is only through spirit that you can gain any understanding of what is happening to your world. 
The building of your light body allows less trapped matter to combine as light and become you. This offers you freer expression and allows you to seek your source. You will literally see changes in your body. It will become more vital, more beautiful, stronger, and more capable of performing events. It will become the processor of multitudes of information. To prepare for this energy, sit quietly, close your eyes, picture your body filled with light, and imagine the light flashing and cleaning your cells. Then ask all parts of your body to work together in their idealized forms. If your body works together inside yourself, then it is much easier for you, as an individual, to work with others outside yourself. Those who are sick inside often don't work very well outside. Attend to the inner mechanisms of your body, visualizing what you want. Within your body lies a force of power called Kundalini, a serpent-like energy that dwells at the base of your spine. Acknowledging and calling this force forward facilitates the merging and bundling of your light body. This force also helps maintain your stability and groundedness with the increased electromagnetic shifts. Traditionally, Kundalini uncoils itself and electrifies your body at around 40 years of age. By this time, you are considered mature enough to house this kind of power. For most people, the power is so profound that they go downhill from there and begin to age rather than rejuvenate and put the great creative electrical force to use. As cosmic energy comes onto the earth plane, there are millions of you who are now increasing the opportunities to reinterpret what Kundalini can do. It is the force of your lives, and you pulse with it. 